types of seeds and their structure. Exabuminous seeds. We are surrounded by several plants and trees which further give rise to flowers and fruits. Vegetation plays a major role in human sustenance and development. It is hard to believe that these grown plants that we see originate from a small seed. The seed is a fertilized mature ovule which possesses an embryonic plant, stored food material and a protective coat. After fertilization, changes occur in various parts of the ovule and it transforms into a seed. The zygote develops into an embryo. The primary endosperm nucleus gives rise to the endosperm and the integuments form protective coats. The seed remains attached to the placenta through a small stalk-like structure known as funicle. The place of detachment of the seed from the funicle appears as a scar called hilum. In some seeds, a bright colored structure develops on the surface as an outgrowth and this structure is known as aril. When the aril occurs as an outgrowth of the funicle, it is known as trophioles as seen in case of acacia. However, when it occurs around the micropyle, it is known as caruncle as in case of castor seeds. Seeds vary a lot in terms of shape and size. For instance, the tiny seed of an orchid weighs 20.33 microgram, whereas that of a double coconut, that is, Ladosia moldavica, is the size of a man's head and weighs 6 kilograms. Seeds of cereals and legumes form a major source of human food. Important products of human use such as oils, beverages, spices and condiments are also obtained from seeds. On the basis of the number of cotyledons present, seeds are classified into dicotyledonous seeds and monocotyledonous seeds. Dicotyledonous seeds have two cotyledons whereas monocotyledonous seeds have only one cotyledon. On the basis of the presence or absence of endosperm, seeds are classified into albuminous and exalbuminous seeds. In case of albuminous seeds, cotyledons are thin and membranous and the endosperm nourishes the seedling during its early development. In case of exalbuminous seeds, food accumulates in the endosperm tissue at an early stage of development but is utilized by the developing embryo and the mature seeds without the endosperm. In such seeds, the cotyledons store food and become thick and fleshy. Monocotyledonous seeds are generally albuminous in nature, whereas dicotyledonous seeds are both albuminous and exalbuminous. Some of the dicotyledonous exalbuminous seeds are gram, pea, bean, mustard, mango, groundnut, etc. Let us take the example of a bean seed. A bean seed is more or less kidney shaped and is covered by a hard seed coat. The bean seed coat has two integuments, the outer tester and the inner tegmen. The tester is reddish black and thick while the tegmen is whitish thin and membranous. The tegmen remains fused with the tester. The seed coat provides necessary protection to the embryo which lies within. At one edge of the seed coat, a whitish elongated ridge is present which is known as raphe. The embryo receives food through the raphe. A distinct broad scar present at the basal end of the raphe is said to be hilum. It represents the point of attachment of the seed to its stalk. 
At the other end of Rafi, away from Hylum, there is a minute pore called micropyle. When a soaked seed is gently pressed, water and minute bubbles can be seen oozing out through this pore. The embryo is the entire fleshy body that is seen after removing the seed coat. It is a baby plant that consists of two fleshy cotyledons and a short axis to which the cotyledons remains attached laterally. The bean seed lacks endosperm and stores its reserve food in cotyledons which provide nourishment to the developing embryonal axis. The part of the embryonal axis lying towards the micropyle is called radical and the one in between the two cotyledons is known as plumule. The region of the embryonal axis that lies between the radical and the point of attachment of cotyledons is said to be hypocotyl, whereas the portion between the plumule and the cotyledons is called epicotyl. On germination of the dicotyledonous exalbuminous bean seed, the radical gives rise to the root and the plumule to the shoot.